Okay, we've got the part C D and there's no E. This is that was a type typo mistake. Fantasy Limited has purchased new machinery costing four hundred thousand on the first of January two thousand and fourteen. The machinery has an expected useful life of twelve years and a residual value of sixty four thousand dollars. How much depreciation expense will be recognised on Fantasy's 2014 income statement and how much accumulated depreciation will be recognised in Fantasy's balance sheet with respect to this machinery? Assume that the machinery will be depreciated using the straight line method. Now straight line method is just Straight line is quite easy. What it is is cost minus residual divided by life. Now my cost is four hundred thousand. My residual value is sixty four thousand and my life is twelve years. So they're the three things that we need. So it's four hundred thousand minus sixty four thousand divided by twelve so how much does that come to that equals twenty eight thousand per annum now the important thing is it says how much is going to be recorded in our books we're purchasing this on the first of january two thousand and fourteen and our financial year is the thirtieth of june 2014. So it only means we need six months. So we need six twelfths times 28,000 equals $14,000. So how much is recorded in our books for depreciation? This is accumulated depreciation and um, depreciation expense. Alright, now the, sev the other thing is, it says several of Fantasy's top executives are concerned that extra depreciation expense associated with the new machinery might result in the company's future profits falling below the level needed to earn them a bonus. They are particularly concerned with the effect in 2015 when the company's profits are expected to suffer due to anticipated higher electricity and water costs. One of the ex executives has suggested that the company would be able to report higher profits if it used the reducing balance method of depreciation with a rate of 10 cents and if this was adopted for the new machinery. Explain whether this suggested change of accounting policy would produce the desired effect of higher profits for fantasy in 2015. You must use calculations to support your equation. Okay, now the thing is it's in 2015 so we'll have six months plus another 12 months. Okay, so this is A, B, C, D. So how do I do my reducing balance? E equals the written down value times the rate. Now written down value, there's a four way to work that out, but let's just work out what the rate is at the moment. Uh, now if we had 400,000 times 10%, this would give us the first year. But we've got to multiply that by my 6 twelfths, so it equals my first year is $20,000. So that's my first year. Now we can see that's a little bit higher than straight line method, but let's look out year one. Now year two. Now, what it is written down value, to calculate written down value, equals cost minus accumulated depreciation, is how I calculate my written down value. So this is an important piece of information. So my cost now is 400,000, so 400,000 minus my depreciation or accumulated depreciation of 20,000 times 10%. 
400 minus 20 is 380 uh, times 10% equals $38,000. So that's my depreciation for year two. Now it says in the question, um, explain whether the suggested change in accounting policy would produce the desired effect of higher reported profits. The uh, answer is no, as the depreciation as reducing balance is a higher depreciation expense thus reducing profits further. So that's my answer. Now remember if it's asking you for a net yes or no answer, please give me a yes or no. So that means that I know you understand. <laughs>